get yourself a small bouquet of fresh flowers. If you want a creamy look, choose colors like these, a soft blue, greens, and beige. For this cake, you will need about one half of a batch of buttercream, a six inch three layer cake, coconut cream cheese, a half a batch, fig butter, spatulas, a six inch cardboard, a turntable, and shelf liner comes in really handy to keep your cakes in place. The sticky side goes down and this will glue the cake in place. You're also going to need a pastry bag with a round tip or a star tip. It really doesn't matter which one. Fill your pastry bag with buttercream. This cake is a sample for an upcoming wedding. The bride and her groom adore fig butter. During our consultation, the bride and groom decided on coconut and fig flavors. Make the fig layer fairly thick and then add a thick dam to keep it from squeezing out the sides. I double dammed it. Then add a generous amount of coconut cream cheese. Repeat that for the next layer. This coconut cake is so moist that the crumbs tend to bunch up and cause lumps, which you don't want for a semi-naked cake. So you might want to scrape off some of those lumps like I'm doing here. Leave as much of the darker crumb as you can because it's really pretty to have that deeper color showing through. Lightly frost and then scrape down the excess until you're happy with the look of the cake. I'm going to just let the video roll now so you can enjoy the finishing touches on this delicious coconut fig cake. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments below and I'll get back to you right away. I cannot wait to taste this cake.